So this is a video that I had to create today because I was feeling trapped inside of my headspace today. And I felt like I definitely needed to create this video uh, for the purpose of raising advocacy and awareness for like mental health, like I said. And on average, typically, I would always find myself to pushing out negative thoughts, you know, negative emotions. I would always find myself in a place, in a particular place of safe haven, a place where I'm able to push against the negative and channeling the negative emotions with positive emotions and a positive mindset and everything. Some days are better than others. And today, I, no matter what I had done, no matter what I had said, no, just no matter what I had done, and it seems like to me just was overwhelming today for my my headspace and my emotions and I swear to God like I do my best every day of my life to be optimistic and you know uh, push against the inertia to push against the, the rising oceans and currents of all the overwhelming like negative emotions or negative thoughts poisonous thoughts against me or, or anything or everything that poisons my soul and me being brutally honest, wearing my heart on my sleeve, just putting myself out there for the world and putting myself into, you know, projecting my voice externally into the airwaves of the world, you know, um, what I feel is what I authentically and genuinely feel and unapologetically me. So, you know, if that's a turn off or if somebody thinks I'm a bitch for, you know, men's mental health matters as well. So in that regards, I got to say, fuck you fuck you because I don't care in the world in the entirety of the universe of unapologetical me what you think about me so um I feel like today and my mental health like declined some days are better than others like I said and some days it like in particular today where I'm constantly having to run through in my mind mentally of all the traumatic of all the heartbreaks and tragedies and of all the stupid decisions that I had done of all the god awful things that I had said in my past and you know your past is your past for a reason I don't ever mean to or intend to dwell or to live or drown myself in my past but you know uh, I get to think of like of all these unfortunate but tragic events and the loss of my best friend having lost everything before and you know I'm content I'm happy now I'm, I'm grateful I, I am eternally forever grateful now that I I have this beautiful life that I have manifested for myself now currently however it was not always like this before you know like I said I lost everything before and of all my exes that I was with and some of the women I was dating, some of the women I was talking to, you know, I blame a lot of my PTSD, my fucking, you know, my trauma, my headspace, my negative emotions, my, my dark thoughts, constantly swimming around inside the, uh, the holes and the, the gaps, the void in my heart, you know, and that's not to sound dramatic or, you know, overtly whatever these people call overly emotional or whatever, you know, I'm just burly honest, you know, I speak my mind like it is and I speak di directly from my heart and it's a tragedy. It, it's something that unless you have personal experience, what I've experienced growing up and like all throughout my childhood, all throughout my life. And unless you have experience of all the things that I've been through personally, me in my past, then you have no right to judge me or what and how I feel or should you ever govern how I feel or jurisdict how I feel or what I think or what I don't think or whatever else, you know. And I had to endure so much in my past and a lot of these women who were broke my heart like fucked me over and it's this crippling depression that sometimes you don't have any urgency or feel to motivate yourself to rise up out of bed in the morning, you know, it, it, it's a depression that's so painful that it, it's 
quite painful. It's it hurts to breathe the air, you know. I mean, it's fucked up, you know. And I have everything now, but often at times or another, I feel more emptier than other days, and um, my existence is quite lonely. <laughs> Really, really all I have are like surrounded by materialistic things and exotic lu luxury things, you know, and uh, kind of distractions, I suppose. I, I, you know, I channel my negative into positives by going on all these adventures, sharing my life with the world. And I mean, I didn't have to do this, but I want to do this. I have, you know, I feel like I'm obligated because I have to do it because you know, I have to change the world for the positive. I have to be that positive contribution in society that there seems to be a lack of, you know, there seems to be a lack of authenticity, you know, genuine people, people who have positive intentions, people who have not ulter ulterior motives or anything, but people actually wish to actually aspire to change the world. And not just talk about it, you know, like these people, like, like, like this whole controversy with fucking Mr. Beast and shit, you know. I mean, it's just like that, you know. It's fucking bullshit. It disgusts me and pisses me off to no fucking end. And I don't know why people have to be like that, you know what I mean? So all I try to do is do right by everybody in my life. And all that I'm trying to do is just trying to find one woman. I just want one woman in my life to complete me, to help heal each other, to grow, to share my romantic side of myself with with this person whoever this person may be you know whoever whatever woman comes along in my life to complete the inner circle because without this internalized circle to be completed and fulfilled I feel like I'm meaningless like I don't you know often at times I feel like my life me personally like what I feel or the validation of my existence. Like I don't matter to anybody else. And, you know, I, I feel isolated. I feel lonely because of it. <clears throat> it's a, it's an insane pill to swallow in your reality where, you know, all you do is bend over backwards for this world. And you're trying to make, the world into a better place and then you find yourself just jaded by the world like this world's as corrupt as it is is trying to take you down like trying to drown you with it you know and i'm just fighting to stay afloat above water enough to hold my breath to to breathe the opportunity to breathe the air just so i can be alive so i can be free and by doing so, um, with every opportunity I can have, with every courage I have, with every light that exists inside of myself, all I try to do is manifest, bring a positive energy to the world, and that positive light, and that, you know, that's why gray is my favorite color, because it embodies both black and white, so I, I'm always, I've always been grounded in myself, and... But this particular light, from darkness to light, as above, so below, inevitably and ultimately, genuinely, I'm trying to change this world and manifest it for the positive. So, for those of you who promote, you know, um, so for those of you who support me and believe in me, uh, who had never given up on me, who pray for my success instead of my downfall and my demise and you know those are those of you that I truly appreciate and I, I valued so deeply like you have no idea how much how grateful I, I truly am like I really really am so I'm just trying not to get submerged too much my depression overthinking and I've risen to the top just enough for people to you know look up and they wonder how the f how in the hell that I've how I how the hell have I done it you know <clears throat>